Are you feeling like you're retaining water, feeling a little swollen? Maybe you're asking the question, does TRT make you retain water or cause fluid retention? My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at that specific topic, what causes this and what you can do about it, how to track it, how to understand what the variables are involved with this, and how to really pin it down so you can get your fluid retention under control. If this is something that interests you and you want to see more videos like it, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like it. All right, let's look at the variables involved with TRT and fluid retention. Does TRT make you retain water? Yes, it does. So testosterone replacement therapy, also known as TRT, can make you retain water if you're producing a lot of estradiol or estrogens in general, but main one's gonna be estradiol, or if the higher testosterone levels are increasing your cortisol levels. Both of these things can happen from testosterone replacement therapy, but just because you're taking testosterone replacement therapy does not mean that you're gonna have this issue. So. Both estrogen and cortisol, mainly estradiol, but estrogens to a certain extent, increase the amount of sodium reabsorption in the kidneys. So when it's being excreted through your urine, both of those molecules increase the reabsorption or prevent it from being excreted, and water follows that, causing the puffiness fluid retention. So what do you do? First, you have to find out if this is indeed your problem. So you wanna be looking at estradiol from a few different angles to make sure you're actually capturing the real effect in your body. So you wanna be looking at the estradiol on different days, depending on how often you're injecting. So you might wanna do it on three days after, if you're doing it for every seven days, or maybe the day after, or just different intervals. And you don't wanna necessarily check at the end of the week, that's when it's probably gonna be lowest. But all, you know, if you're having this ongoing issue and you can't figure out why, that would be a good recommendation, is make sure you check it at different intervals to try and capture what the true estradiol is and then the other thing is there's different tests for estradiol some of them are less sensitive than others so you want to make sure you use the mass spec liquid chromatography estradiol test that's going to capture more of the issue you can also do a total estrogens uh, test which will capture some of the other estrogens other than estradiol which could also be contributing to the problem for cortisol it's pretty straightforward but cortisol can change pretty quickly too so you want to make sure you get it earlier on in the day if you're doing a blood test you could also do a 24-hour cortisol as well. Uh, 24 hours is going to capture the whole day. Usually it's going to be highest in the morning. That's why we do the morning cortisol. There's also salivary, which I don't use as much, but 24-hour cortisol or AM cortisol earlier, earlier is better to capture it uh, is going to be a pretty good way to pin that down. Along with the cortisol, estradiol kind of thing, you can also follow your electrolyte levels and your osmolality. This can also give you hints if you're like if your sodium's really high or higher than it was before. That could tell you, you know, okay, maybe I really am retaining more sodium and therefore fluid. That should answer the question: Does TRT make you retain water or increase fluid retention? That should give you a better understanding of what you need to do to get your fluid retention and or problems related to TRT uh, under control. If you like the video, please click on the like button and don't forget uh, if you do have any questions related to this topic or others on testosterone replacement therapy or other uh, health related things, drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that. I'll definitely try to answer your question the best of my ability. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.